right, folks. James DeGrazzi with Fire Tide Fishing here. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make some quick and easy, you know, lures for trolling. I think these are gonna be good for mahi, tuna, you know, some kingfish, maybe some wahoo, maybe some sailfish. See what happens, right? So stay tuned. I'm gonna show you a quick little rigging thing that I did. Um, what I purchased, how much this stuff costs, and you could go look for yourself to see if this works for you. But we're going to continue doing some of these videos. Um, I'm going to go field test these. Um, you're going to see me do some live rigs here in the next couple weeks. We'll be going down to South Padre Island. Uh, we got a lot on the agenda. We're going to be bay fishing for some redfish, some uh, speckled trout, and then we're going to take it off into the deep blue and see what we could get um, offshore fishing, maybe it's some oil rigs, um, snapper biting real good, uh, kingfish are biting, some wahoo are biting, um, the yellowfin tuna are coming in, the blue fins or the black fins, sorry, are there. Um, so I'm super excited about it, happy to take you along for the ride. Definitely gonna bring all of our camera equipment. Definitely gonna be showing you the sights and sounds of South Padre Island. If anybody's ever been down there in South Texas, it's pretty much like the Florida Keys, but done Texas way. So stay tuned. Thank you for joining. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, thank all of you that have done so, so far. Without you, um, we wouldn't be where we are today. So Fire Tide Fishing thanks you as well as myself, James DeGrazius, signing off for now. Uh, stay tuned and we're going to show you how to rig up some of these baits. So let's go over cost. All right, so this lure here, you get a five pack of these skirts for about $10. Um, the weights themselves, about I think they were like a dollar fifty. Beads, you get that for like two bucks. These crimps, I got in a large pack for like ten dollars. And these hooks, I got like twenty pack of these seven odd hooks for like you know five dollars. The leader itself is probably about eight to ten dollars for a two hundred yard spool of eighty pound mono. Um, so you do the math yourself, you could tie a lot of these yourself and then you, you also have the remaining gear to do repairs. If you have faults in it, your line snaps, whatever, and you get some of you know it back without the hook or whatever and retie hooks. So you can make a lot of these for relatively cheap. I would say these were probably, because I already had a lot of the gear already, Probably each one of these, I would say, about three dollars, four dollars, finally rigged up. So, these chuggers themselves, real nice. Um, you can get a four pack of these. Um, you can order them pretty much anywhere you want. I found these were really good, high quality, just off of Amazon. And a four pack was $32, which is pretty decent. These lures my buddy Matt makes, uh, Matt Ridgeway from Ridgeway Customs. Um, these are about $50 a piece, a little more expensive, but as you can see, they're like eight inch lures, hand painted, really high quality. You can paint them to whatever colors you want. I always prefer purple and pink. For kingfish um, or just pink on black works really good um, and then some sort of bait fish that looks like either a mackerel or herring um, with a little bit of shine on it so good for different water clarities and cloud cover so if you got a cloud cover probably go with these if you got open skies and you want some good reflection use these so anyway, so that's kind of a breakdown of what we got for cost. All right, guys, so I got this like kit right here. This is like my go-to offshore kit. Obviously, I got another one that's done for bottom fishing. Some large weights, lots of hooks, everything that I'm gonna need. But in here, I got a lot of my trolling bait. So I got a lot of my chugger squids. 
I always like to have three, four ready to rock, four different colors. Um, also got a bunch of live bait rigs already tied up. Um, some with circle hooks, some with octopus hooks, and some with straight regular hooks. Um, just to see what's going out there. And these are all done up in different um, leader strengths. So I believe this one's 100. And then I got a couple with 80s done up. Um, so let's show you some of the lures I rigged up. So these would be them here. Um, just a simple skirt, skirting bait. Um, as you can see, these lures aren't that large, but it's designed just to create a little bit more profile in the water, give it a little bit of extra flair um, while trolling some bait rigs. So I was thinking you could put frozen ballyhoo um, on the hook. Um, basically floss wrap it just to make sure you don't um, have the bait fall apart um, this skirt itself has already a small weight at the top inside I put a half ounce um, Texas rig type sinker in here and a bead for protection on the line um, used double double of these um, just to protect the line if you got a fish with teeth coming in it's cool if the this snaps here and I just lose the hook these will keep the whole bait from falling apart um, and then I could always just come back in here and retie got a seven odd some knot hook, um, which should be good for anything that we need to fish for off the Gulf Coast in Texas. Um, the leader itself is an 80 pound mono leader. Um, you could obviously do this all the way up to 150 pound, but because uh, we're planning on catching some smaller fish with these. Um, this should work. I know on these chuggers, these have uh, 150 pound leader on it. So once we got these set up, this will be kind of what we're rocking and rolling. Um, just thinking about doing a setup with these off the outriggers, um, trolling off the sides of the boat. These are going to be my long baits, baits, so they'll be setting up the center of my troll pattern, running long behind the boat. These two are going to be off the side of the boat. Um, and these are going to be right off the um, stern. Trolling. So these are trolling baits. They're going to go down in the water column probably about six feet. I'm just going to chug on through. Um, these I rigged up mostly because they're pretty expensive. Um, and I'm not really using these as, a, as you know a definite, this is what the fish are going to bite type lure. Um, apologize, these are all tangled up in here right now. Just give me a sec. All right, back with you. So my buddy, Matt, makes these. Um, I rigged them up with on the back here, this is a 150 pound wire. Um, they just matched up with some 11 on inline hooks. Um, these are gonna be nice because they'll move freely. They'll be able to move around looking like fins on the lure based off the position of the hooks that should give me good coverage of either a main body strike or a tail strike um, rig these up with a metal leader and then a hundred pound mono um, extension on it which um, should be good so I was planning on running two of these 
will be the second one that I'll run left and right sides. So the design is to have, you know, two chuggers off the outriggers running kind of short, these running long, and two of these off the stern of the boat I'm running a bit deeper to create a nice trolling pattern. So if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to leave comments, um, questions, uh, see if I can answer them, see if I can give you suggestions as well as if you got anything, um, especially you really experienced fishermen out there, please tell me what your thoughts are. Let me know how I'm doing. If you need anything else, always feel free to comment and share these videos um, as directed. Uh, thank you for your time and have yourself a great day.